Good morning, uh, each one of you. And I am uh, very happy. I am very happy to come on this particular mode and to talk to you after a very long time that uh, which we are interacting. And because of this uh, COVID-19 lockdown, and we are going on in a different platform for an interaction. Uh, first of all, once again, I have a great pleasure to welcome all of you. Uh, for this uh, brief uh, interaction and uh, today is a very important day for all of us. So April 30th is being observed as a Founders Day. So Dr. TMA Pai, Dr. Tunse Madhav Anant Pai, who is the founder of the Manipal Group of Institution and today we are observing his uh, 122nd birth anniversary. So on behalf of this very important uh, day, so and behalf of the Manipal University Jaipur and from the group, so uh, please accept the heartiest greeting on this very important uh, day of uh, Manipal journey and the history. Okay, so every year that we are celebrating as a group in main Manipal, there is there was every year a very long celebration right from the early morning six o'clock and uh, new some new projects will also be launched on this important day and uh, in the evening there is also an important uh, program that they will conduct but here during this the covid of course uh, all programs are kept on hold rightly so and even if you see manipal university jaipur right from its inception that we are also observing the Founders Day very enthusiastically. And uh, last year, as far as I remember, our uh, faculty housing block FH1 was inaugurated on this day. After that, we have invited more than about 400 people, uh, workers especially, and we fed them, had a lunch with them. And uh, in the evening, the new student council also was uh, launched on this particular day and we had a very brief uh, meeting with all my faculty, staff and student. So this year due to uh, this particular reason, so we cannot have the celebration in the way that which we want. But however, we cannot afford to lose this celebration also because it is a very important and this is the time for all of us to remember uh, the, the great vision, the sacrifice, the effort, the innovative ideas which our uh, founder has done and today whatever that we are enjoying and whatever we are executing, it is because of uh, the sacrifice and the effort and the vision of this great leader, Dr. TMA Pai. So that is the reason we thought, although there would be uh, a restriction for all of us to meet physically, but definitely we can use this platform uh, to meet and greet each other. So last year I was mentioning that uh, one of his uh, stories or a life stories that we can take and uh, enjoy this story and understand what he has done. And there would be a, a very strong message from this story that we can take it and uh, then we can move forward. I would be very happy to share one of such stories today with you. And today, because everybody is talking about uh, the economic slowdown and uh, during this COVID-19 and during this academic, uh, sorry, academic disturbance as well as this economic slowdown. So we are facing a lot of problems. But now, when I relate this uh, situation long back in uh, 1925, how Dr. Pai has uh, initiated uh, and uh, helped the local community in a place called as Manipal, and how he launched one of the banking sector, which is basically called as a syndicate bank. 
So this one inspiring story that I would like to share with you, and this I heard from some of the senior staff of Manipal Group, and uh, so that I will start uh, now. Okay, so as you know, Dr. T. M. A. Pai, after finishing his medical uh, degree, he wanted to go out and he got an offer in Hong Kong. And before going to Hong Kong, that he thought that he will take uh, the blessing from his parents. So he came down to his native place called as Tonse. Tonse is uh, a small village and uh, on the seashore of uh, Arabian Sea. And when he came and uh, uh, explained his plan, and especially his mother, Yashoda, and uh, she was not very happy. And uh, she said, I thought that you will uh, really help us, uh, the local community, after you have your medical degree and that made uh, our founder to change his plan and then he uh, refused this offer and uh, started staying in a uh, money or uh, not a manipal manipal was not born at that time in his uh, workplace so now the story turned during his uh, medical profession for the first six months that he did not earn anything because the people around him are so poor they come for the treatment but they really genuinely they do not have the money with them so that was something which is happened and this made him to think differently and the the one of the banks of the syndicate bank was formed now when we talk about the syndicate bank the bank has uh, the very three important reasons that we need to remember. The first reason is the hypothesis and the belief of this bank. And this is the very interesting. It says if there is an airy innovative method or a policy or a person, if he wanted to generate wealth for himself, then it is opt that he must also create a wealth for the his uh, community. And this is the one big hypothesis over which the bank will bank has started. I will explain this hypothesis with the, some of his uh, uh, the, the incidents. The second very important reason where we have to remember syndicate bank is this is the only the large bank which has the headquarters in the village manipal manipal was a village even in 20, 1925 even in the recent time all the other banks although they have started in the village for the business purpose they have shifted their headquarters to other places but till now syndicate bank has the headquarters in a manipal that is the second reason the third reason where we have to remember this uh, uh, bank is basically of the concept of a uh, bottom of the pyramid. See CK Pralath, so he has coined this word as the bottom of the pyramid and you must be aware of that. Basically I will explain what is bottom of pyramid. If you see the number of people and their wealth status, it means that there is a, a pyramid structure and in that, in the bottom of the pyramid, there is a large number of people where they are a little poor. Then there is a middle of the pyramid, basically is a mid-class people. And in the top of the pyramid, there is a wealthy people, but the number of people are very, very small. And this is called as uh, the pyramid structure as far as the number of people and uh, their wealth status. And most of the businesses, when it was started, Many of the companies, they thought that we will develop some kind of a policy, services or a product to take care about the top of the pyramid people, thinking that they are affordable to take these services and products, which is rightly so. But this is the one concept that we can also think about wealth generation in the bottom of the pyramid people, but it has to be dealt differently. So this is uh, something which a founder like Dr. T.M.A. Pai thought 
that the wealth can also be generated in the bottom of the pyramid structure. So once again, I'll repeat, the first one is the hypothesis. The second one, it is meant for the rural areas and having is a, uh, it's a, the founding or the headquarters in a village. And the third one is wealth generation can also happen in the bottom of the pyramid. And these are the three reasons that the syndicate bank is being remembered for a lifelong. Okay, so let us go back to Dr. Pai's story. When he was uh, treating the people, as I said, people are not in a position uh, to pay him. And the situation in uh, the place called as Tonse, the basic uh, occupation there is uh, fishing because it is in the seashore and uh, then there is a all kind of a fishing things which is uh, happening. And in the fishermen also, there is a male members used to go to the sea by their boat, swimmer or the steamers and they get the fish. And after that, these fishes are taken to the community, to the market by cleaning, have the marketing strategy, take the money. Everything is being done by fisher women. It is not the male members. And it is only the women members used to take it to the, the villages. And every finance is being uh, taken care by these uh, women members. And even now, the situation is not much changed. And whenever uh, this, uh, the children are ill, only these women or the mothers used to take it to Dr. TMA Pai for the treatment. And after getting the treatment, they do not have the money. And then Dr. Pai thought, women are running the business. What they do with this uh, money? And when he was asking them, he told, after every ex or expenses are done, and this money is given to their husband or the male members. Male members used to enjoy, they drink a lot and the situation is not improving it. And now there is a change Dr. TMA Pai bought. And he said all these women members, can you give some money to me for the saving? And they said, how it is possible because the male members are not allowing it to happen. So then what he said, Okay, no worry. I will send my compounder to your house and one coin of 25 paisa that you can give to my compounder. Look at that. The syndicate bank has started a deposit by 25 paisa where all the big banks were insisting to start their account with the 5 rupees and syndicate bank started with the 25 paisa and please note 25 paisa and in 1925 so this was the situation and he used to keep two books one book is with his compounder and one book is with this women members and whatever this 25 paisa that he uh, take and everything is being entered in both the books and one book is kept with the members the other book with him so within a short period, he collected more than 1000 rupees. 1000 rupees at this evaluation, it will be more than about uh, something few lakhs now at this evaluation. And this money made him to think about starting a bank. And that bank name is called as a Canara Leasing and Syndicate uh, what is a bank and in 1925 and this is the bank which he has started with the and deposit of 25 paisa from each member minimum and in 1925 and this is the story that uh, even unfortunately many of the business school is not teaching and this today is called as he remembered this uh, a deposit scheme is called as a pygmy deposit. Pygmy, you remember, it is a, a group of people in African countries. They are, they are very short in their anatomy or in the structure. And this is called as a pygmy deposit. 
and that he started this bank and the exact name of the bank at that time is called as Canara Industrial and Banking Syndicate Limited started in uh, 1925. I repeat again, Canara Industrial and Banking Syndicate Limited. But I will come back to you on these names once again. Now, now the people have started uh, collecting. They have the enough money and uh, people are going, the large number of banking people are going to their house and collecting it. Okay. Now, again, the health status of these children of the fishing people haven't improved. It. And then he analyzed why. Because they are only taking rice and fish curry. They were not taking milk. Then he got a different idea for the nutrition value. He informed all these uh, women members. So how do you take one cow for you? And they said, I can't afford one glass of milk. And how I can take uh, uh, this uh, one cow? So then he had an, another idea. And with this idea, he said, I will sponsor this cow. You take that. Give one glass of milk to your children and rest of the milk you give back to me. I will purchase that. And that money will be helpful to get rid of the loan. Okay, people started. Thousand cows came in that region. Uh, and sooner he got enough milk and uh, he doesn't know what to do with that milk and with which he has started a milk diary. So that is the reason he started uh, an another milk diary. One bank he started, one milk he ha one milk diary he has started. And in the another city or another village, there is a lot of weaver server available. And for them, he has created an another scheme for that. And when he started this bank, now he will have an enough deposit. Now, the banks usually grow. There must be a person who can take a bigger loan. He has an ambitious to grow and also has a capacity and willingness to pay the interest for the loan. And my dear friends, you know who is that person he caught? He is the Dhirubhai Ambani. And Dhirubhai Ambani is the one person who came for him, the syndicate bank gave a big loan. And uh, with his interest, the bank also grown. And if you remember, even in uh, uh, Ambani's uh, uh, Reliance Industries, for a very, very long time, one of the board members is from the Pi family. So that is the, the way in which the whole system and uh, then over the years, he started the schools for these children, higher and secondary schools. Then there is a medical college. Then there is an engineering college. So like that, each the launch of his institution has a different stories. I do not want to bore you by telling all the stories. Maybe we can keep it for the next uh, uh, birth anniversary for him. Today, why I thought that is a very opt is in this an academic as well as in the economic disturbance. In the situation is also so bad as far as the health condition is concerned. And during in 1925 or soon after independence, the main problem that whole situation had the country is uh, illiteracy, ill health and poverty. So he said if the illiteracy is being taken care by education institution, ill health is being taken care by the medical institutions, the poverty will automatically go. And that is the hypothesis with which he has started. Now, what is the learning for us today? Yes, today also there is a lot of disturbance that which we keep seeing. it. And during this major disturbance that we need to adopt and change. Even in uh, the history when you see, it is not the big animals serve or the, uh, what do you say, it is not the strong animal survived. It is an animal which has an opportunity to adopt. It has uh, survived throughout this uh, system. So my 
take on this message for all of us whenever there is a major disturbances happens we must also think differently act differently new innovation that we need to bring it and manipal has always shown such kind of a change so considering the existing situation definitely there would be a lot of change that we expect and we need to adapt to the situation let us think about how we can do how we can think differently moving forward but on this occasion of the founders day i thought i will share this story with you and i am inspired by all those activities i was so lucky enough to see him from a distance when he had come to my native place during his 80th birthday i belong to a place called skarkila about 40 kilometers from manipal and uh, there was his college that he was uh, instrumental in building it and today in the same banking when he started in 1970s when this bank uh, got nationalized during nationalization there is a lot of hue and cry but when somebody a very important media person asked dr t m a pai how do you feel about uh, uh, this nationalize because you have created this and now the government is taking over the complete bank how do you feel about it the dr t m a pai's answer was a classic and he said syndicate bank is just like my daughter now she is ready to get married who would be the best bride groom other than government of india so he thought syndicate bank got married to government of india and he said i would be very happy to give my daughter syndicate bank to government of india and that was a very classic uh, uh, answer and it was very well appreciated by all of uh, the people in the nation so my dear friends once again thank you very much for coming in a larger number and today the count says that it is a more than 250 members are already there i would be very happy i congratulate you on this uh, very important day and taking your time and coming in a, in this particular platform and uh, let us celebrate this let us take some kind of an important message and just like what our founder uh, did through his lifetime i think we must also think differently think innovatively move forward and see that there would be a lot of value that uh, we can give it to the society and we can also be get benefited out of it so thank you very much and uh, once again greetings to all of you on this founders day and this is gk prabhu your president signing off namaskar